Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and tonight we're going to be installing this 27 inch IPS uh, 2560 by 1440 display right up here above the 346 inch monitors where the center channel used to be. So, now in order to do this, we're going to have to do a couple things. First of all, this right here is a bracket that I picked up off Mono Price. It was fairly inexpensive. Check the description. I'll try to get you guys a link. And this connects up to the Visa mount that I already installed on the back of the screen here. Go ahead and spin it around. I'll get you guys a closer look at this, but this is the bracket. It just fastens the back of the screen. We're going to go ahead and remove the lower base. But before we can do this, we can't just drill it into the sheetrock because the sheetrock's too weak and I really don't want this thing falling on my face while I'm hot, hot in the battle uh, gaming and doing whatever the hell I am doing. But anyways, up here, uh, we're going to take a board and I'm going to go down and cut a board that fits between the two studs, which I already found using a Zircon stud finder. And I'm going to put a board across there and I'm going to bolt it into each one of the studs so that I have a solid surface to bolt the mount to. And that's going to help me put the mount right about there. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach the screen to the mount. And then I can adjust the screen in theory to get the angle just the way I want it relative to where I'm sitting. And good times will be had. So let's start off now that I already got the Visa mounted bracket mounted. Uh, really easy to do. I figured I wouldn't even put that on video, guys. But yeah, it just pretty much just screws right into the back here. Um, what we need to do is uh, let's go down and uh, measure and cut that board and then get that board mounted. All right, guys, I'm out here in my sweaty, manly garage. I'm gonna repurpose a piece of lumber that I found out in my shed. Um, doesn't have to be exact. You just need something that you can put two bolts through. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out to 28 inches. The space between my joists is approximately 24 inches, but I'm gonna go a little bit bigger because I wanna shift it back and forth and try to center it up on the monitors just so everything looks symmetrical. There might be a little bit of overhang on the edge of the monitors, but once I paint it black, you'll hardly notice. So I'm going to go ahead and take a Sharpie, mark it out to 28 inches, right there. Do the same on the bottom. Well, in theory, I don't do a lot of woodworking, guys, so don't think this is like a woodworking tutorial. It is not. <clears throat> so go ahead and measure it out to 28. Doesn't have to be exact. Well, we want to get as close as we can. So go ahead and take this bad boy, line them up, get us a nice clean line. Good enough. All right, let's cut it. That nice burn I put on it. Doesn't matter, painting it black. Go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Just a little sanding block. I actually like working with wood and other things. As you guys know from watching my channel, I like doing everything. I work on cars, I do everything. I never said I do it the right way, but I do enjoy myself learning. I even enjoy learning from my own mistakes. All right, it's pretty nice. I think we can use that. All right, guys, so now we got our 28 inch board back up to the man cave. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out 14 inch inches so I can find the center of it, which is right there. We're gonna make a couple dots just so we have a good reference down the center of the board. Again, doesn't have to be exact. There we go. So now I've got the center marked. And this is going to be where the bracket attaches to, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and mark, once I line them up, I'm going to mark two, 
big spots. All right. Okay, as you can see, these two big spots are going to represent where our bolts go through. We're going to drill holes for the bolts that'll hold this, and then then we're going to line it up on the stud where we want it, and then we'll drill the holes into the stud so that this is centered right above the center monitor. Hopefully, it'll start to make sense here in a minute. All right, now I'm going to attempt to center this up over my monitor right here. I'm going to pull these out later. But here's my two spots here. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but those are my two spots where I know that there's a joist behind the wall for me to put bolts into. And that's what's important. Let's go ahead and put that up there. Line that up best we can with the center monitor. That's pretty good right there. Go ahead and pin that in place. Looks like we got a joist right there and a joist right there. Now you can see I've marked right here and right here. So that's where the board is actually going to bolt in to the studs on the wall. Now remember, I made it a little bit long so that I could center it up on the monitor. That way I have equal length coming out of both. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and measure and drill two pilot holes on both sides so that I can run the leg bolts into the wall. And I'm also going to remove these because I don't need those anymore. All right, I went, out, went ahead and measured out the 24 inches between the two points for the joists and made several marks, the inside ones, for the screws that I'm gonna run into the wall to hold this to the wall. And, of course, I'm using my makeshift sawhorse, which is one of my Crocs, because I don't wanna keep running back to the garage every time I need to drill a hole. So we're actually doing this in the man cave. Okay, there's one. There's two. We'll just dump the shavings on the floor. We'll let the Roomba deal with that later. Got two more. Actually marked that one wrong. That's not the right one. The inside one's the right one. Okay. One more. Okay. And then I'm gonna drill pilots for my two big guys so that I can run the bolts through the board without it splitting. The drill bit's hot. Okay. So far, so good. All right, so now we got our board set up here. So all we can do is center it up, and I'm going to drive one screw first, and then I can level it out, and we can put the other screw in. There's one. This is always easier when you have more people, but I don't want to bug my wife right now because it's late at night. I'm doing this at like, I think it's like 10, 10 or 11. All right. So again, centering that up using the, the, the poor boy method. Thinking right about there is probably good. That looks pretty pretty much in the ballpark, so I'm gonna drive one screw in. Good, I hit a stud. That's what we wanted. If this if the screw goes in and just keeps turning, you're not on a stud. Okay. Had to borrow my wife's level from the Tomboy Tools Kit. <laughs> because I couldn't find either of mine. I own like two of them, but I can never find shit in this house. All right, let's put it up there. I want to make sure it's good and level. It is. I'm not going to lie. I, I already leveled it before I turned on the camera. <laughs> All right, so we can go ahead and drive this one home now. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's see if I fucked up or not. So I measured correctly the 24 inches between there and there these two screws should both grab a stud right there and pull tight to the wall let's see if they do hey what do you know it's like I know what I'm doing there we go so now 
you can see that board is solid on there and that's exactly what we want now we don't have to run the bracket right into the sheetrock we can mount it right there which is what we're going to do next all right that particular bracket came with some leg bolts right here let's go ahead and open it up there's some big old guys like these and washers which we definitely want to use so I'm gonna put a washer on the first one all right after searching all over the place I finally found enough adapters and sockets to fit this uh, bolt so I got my bolt and my washer got this guy right here all right here we go That was a lot of work. Oh, that's beautiful. Well guys and gals, that's the finished product. I got the 27 inch IPS display installed. Um, all the monitors are hooked up and working. And if I go into screen resolution, you can see the orientation right there, and uh, everything's put back together. So it's about 12 a.m., so I will not be releasing this video tonight, but you will see it tomorrow, which if you're watching this right now, that was now or in the past. Anyways, I'm tired. So it took me a while to do this. The video might be short, but the install actually took quite some time. So the only thing left to do now is I just need to paint the board behind this black, which I'm going to do. And I waited until I installed it to paint it because I wanted to cover all the screw heads and everything so it blends in with the wall. And uh, once that's done, it should be pretty seamless. And I like how the color of the bezel on the screen hides back into the wall, which is black and everything, so the screen's not intrusive. And now from your point of view, it looks like it overhangs the screen, but realize from where I'm sitting right here, um, it lines up pretty good with the top of the other screen. So from my perspective, it puts the screen closer to me because it's higher resolution, but everything's where it should be. And then when I'm sitting on the simulator, which is even closer to the floor and further back, it keeps everything in line. So that's why I positioned the monitor the way that I did. So guys, I hope this gave you a nerdgasm. I hope you enjoy these videos I'm doing. I think I can't even imagine what the next thing I'm going to do with this battle station is because I've already gone way over the top. But uh, I'm having an absolute blast doing it. So guys, please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what I should do next. Um, I'm going to go get some sleep. So hope it gave you a nerdgasm. I probably already said that. Oh man, I am exhausted. Anyways, guys, you know the drill. Till next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys. I don't see any ghosting or shadowing. Got him. Teabag! Oh, shit. Teabagging always costs me my life. Ah! Oh damn it. Mm. All right. Well, that was a quick little